guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. It is actually the morning when I'm filming right now. Usually I record in the afternoon, but today I'm doing a what I eat in a day video because I know you guys love these and I actually like doing them too because I found them really helpful when I first went vegan and I know you guys find them really helpful. So I'm just starting off my day the same way I always do with a big glass of water, just plain old water from my fridge. And then next I'm going to show you how I make my coffee. I make coffee a bunch of different ways. I actually have two coffee makers. I started posting videos of my coffee on Instagram because I'm just like one of those people that's obsessed with coffee now. But people have been asking me how I make it, so I'm going to show you how I make it, how I make my milk so foamy. I'll tell you like, I'll just tell you all the things. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be using ground coffee from Four Sigmatic. You guys know, actually, I'll just show you. You guys know Four Sigmatic. I've worked with them before, and they're actually sponsoring today's video. So this is just a bag of ground coffee, and you use it with a coffee machine. It's not instant coffee like some of their other ones, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make this. So this is the dark roast ground with lion's mane and chaga mushrooms. Go. Say hi to your fans. Say hi. <laughs> Their face is so big right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do is I fill up the reusable K-cup. Put it in like this. Brew it. While that's brewing, I have this milk frother. I like to use oat milk. This is the kind that I use. I find that it froths up really well. Fill it up. And then turn that on. So I get both of them going at the same time. And then this is the creamer that I use. And I just put some of this in. Okay, so I added in some of that. A little bit of the creamer just so I have enough room. And then I just add the rest. Look at that. And I just stir it up a little bit. Look at this foam though, guys. Oh. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> I needed this. <laughs> so if you guys are coffee drinkers and you are into functional mushrooms, I definitely recommend getting this one because you get so much in a package and if you have a coffee machine like I do, you can just use it with your coffee machine. They do have a ton of other products like teas, um, golden milk, they have lattes, they have adaptogen coffee mixes, so they make a ton of different products that all have different mushrooms for benefits like gut healing or energizing or relaxation. Four Sigmatic is having a sale with everything from 20 to 50% off and if you want an extra discount you can use my code for 15% off on top of the already discounted items. So definitely go check it out. I think they would make great Christmas gifts if you have like a health nut or a coffee lover in your life um, so yeah go check it out okay so now I'm going to make some breakfast I'm just gonna do something really simple because I think Gregory if you can confirm we're going on a hike after this he says you bet so um, I want to have something that will fill me up give me energy when I'm trying to run through the woods trying to catch my dogs so um, I'm gonna do a little yogurt granola fruit bowl so yeah let's go make some breakfast okay so here I've got a nice little persimmon. I realize that you're supposed to cut them this way. I've been cutting them the wrong way, but you get a little flower. It's beautiful. And then I'm also just going to do some blueberries. This is the yogurt that I'm going to be using. It's a coconut milk yogurt, Riviera. Look at that. It's super creamy right out of the carton, which I know a lot of vegan yogurts, I have to stir them, so I like that. So I'm going to add some granola. Look at those colors, guys. It's beautiful. People are like, yeah, we get it. It's fruit. Mm. That blueberry was sour. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna take our dogs on a little hike. And then I'm sure 
will be hungry after that for some lunch, so I will see you guys then. So for lunch, I had a craving for a recipe that I haven't had since I was probably like 15 years old. And this is a recipe that my dad would always make for our family, for family dinners, for special occasions. It's sweet and sour meatballs. So today we're making the vegan version. And this recipe is a little interesting because the sauce only requires two ingredients. So the sauce is a mix of chili sauce which isn't actually made of chilies. It's like tomato sauce that you're supposed to use in chili. And grape jelly. Oh, this is grape jam, but that's fine. If you have a jelly, not a jam, it likely will have gelatin in it, but this is a jam, which means it just has um, fruit pectin, which is what makes it gelatinous without having to use ground up animal bones. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I'm so excited. Like I said, I haven't had this in so long. This is gonna be Greg's first time having it, so. Okay, so we're making the meatballs with this Light Life plant-based ground. Uh, it's kind of like ground beef, as you can see. And then you're going to add in some breadcrumbs and dried mixed spices. This is just called um, like savory herbs, I think. And then you just want to use about a tablespoon size of the mixture and roll it into meatballs and just repeat that with the rest. For me, this made 18 meatballs. And then you just want to cook them so in a frying pan on medium heat you can just add a little bit of oil and then add in your meatballs and cook them for probably around 10 minutes is what i did but i turned them frequently to try and brown all the sides and then of course while they're cooking you will want to cook your rice this is just some brown rice and then once the meatballs are kind of browned to your liking, you can add in the sauces. So that's the chili sauce and then the grape jam. I'm aware this looks gross. I tried to speed up the stirring process because I think that it just looks gross to me. Uh, you can actually probably whisk this before putting it in the pan. That would have been a lot easier, but basically you want to bring it to a simmer on medium heat and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that is it. So then you're ready to serve it. I love to serve it over rice with some chopped green onion or chives and then finish it off with some sesame seeds. They look good. Didn't get like dried out. I'm so excited. There's a car alarm going off, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, I missed this. It's like tangy sweet. and sweet. Sour and sweet, I guess. Because they're sweet in there. Okay. If you used a teaspoon to scoop the meatballs and made them really small, you could make like the ones you put on a toothpick and serve it at a party or something especially with the holidays coming up. That would be like the perfect holiday appetizer. We should do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go eat this, feed my dogs, the huge, and I'll catch you guys at supper. All right, this dinner is so simple. You're just gonna start off by cooking some quinoa. It takes about 10 minutes. Um, and while that's cooking, you want to chop up some vegetables. So I just did every green vegetable I had in my fridge. So I had some bok choy, uh, some green onions left over from lunch, some kale, and then I also did a portobello mushroom just to have something a little bit heartier. And then I just added that into a frying pan with a little bit of oil to brown the mushroom. And I also added the bok choy at the same time and cooked it for a few minutes. And then I added the leafier greens because they take less time to cook. But then I just serve it over quinoa. Like I said, this is just so quick and easy. Um, and then I add some sauces. So in the frying pan, I added a little drizzle of coconut aminos, which is like a soy sauce alternative. So I just added a bit more of that on top along with some sweet chili sauce and uh, some sriracha. And that's it. It really is that easy. And this is just the perfect lazy dinner. So I feel like I'm wearing a different outfit. <laughs> in every single meal of this video. But when you film and take a lot of photos during the day, you gotta do outfit changes. So I'm pretty much the queen of wearing like five outfits a day, every day. This is kind of just like a typical 
meal for me when I want something healthy that I don't really want to take a lot of time to cook. Don't forget to check out Four Sigmatic. Their sale runs until December 5th, and if you use my code, you can save even more money off the sale prices. So definitely go check them out. I love their website. It's super easy to use, super easy to find what you're looking for. You can search by mushrooms, by benefits, by type of drink, and the coffees that I personally have been loving lately are just the ground mushroom coffee and the adaptogen ground coffee. Um, both of those are on sale, and I also love out of the instant ones I love their hot chocolate mix so yeah those are my recommendations I really hope you guys try it out um, let me know if you make any of the recipes in this video if you do you can take a photo and tag me on Instagram I am at it's live B that is everything for me today thank you so much for tagging along and watching what I eat in a day and I will see you guys in the next video bye